everybody, and welcome back to Let's Mess Up Sim City with me there, Trunkleton. We are in our new town. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right, I haven't had a chance to work on Last Trunkle, wherever it may be. Oh, it's right there. That is Last Trunkle. Um, basically, yesterday, Sim City, Cities of the Tomorrow came out, and I was so excited. I made two videos on that actually uh, an over a look at it's basically just an overview hope you guys watch that just check out the channel and a let's play we started our let's play on that so two days in a run I started a new city it's crazy um, in this we are not going to use any of the city city of tomorrow stuff at all even if it would seem easier or more convenient to do so if you look at the UI down here might be very small on your screen uh, you can see it's got the cities of tomorrow thing going on it's got these blue hexagon shapes and like a honeycomb pattern going all along and it fades out to white it's awesome someone did ask me one of those videos I, I'm sure that person watches these videos subscribed asked me if I can make the UI bigger I do apologize it's set to your screen size and I'm doing it in 1080p on I a 42 inch TV <laughs> that's how I record I don't have a monitor I use my TV sorry but I think even if you're in 1080p on whatever system it, it, it shows up this big so if you're working on a super small screen and you stick it in 1080p I think it looks like that anyway that's how it was on my laptop or maybe it actually goes on your screen size because my screen is massive that's how it looks so I will be doing a bit of a talk of Cities of Tomorrow, just so in case you guys haven't seen about it or if you hadn't known if it had been released yet. It is awesome. To be honest with you, I was so excited yesterday doing a look at. I completely forgot half the stuff I needed to mention. <laughs> I really did. It was just insane. And it is beautiful. So they want me to put the academy in already. Mayor! To advance Strasbourg Isle into the future, we need high wealth workers who will drive research into new technologies. 5,000 reward only? First step on a brand new futuristic road is attracting wealthy workers. What do you say, Mayor? I'll say I'll do it and let's just see what the mission is. Have five high wealth houses develop, five remaining. Have ten high wealth workers in your city. And plopper park that's it that's worth 5,000 even if it's a new mission towards towards uh, the Academy we're not gonna go towards the Academy but that would be awesome I think we need a fire station we're getting fires now we're at that tipping point and I think we just have enough money but we'll only be making a hundred hundred an hour maybe we should let them burn let them burn right I want to finish off this ring road today. Let's actually let's just do that now. Let's do a bit by bit. Oh, 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 oh! Let's get it on this. Oh, that looks better. Still looks dirty though. Yep. How much cash we got? We got enough. You know what? That looks fine to me. It's not the best circle in the world. The landscape doesn't really help. It'll kind of work. As we saw off the circle, it wouldn't cross bridges too well for some reason. Maybe this one was too small for it. But that's fine. I like the derpiness of it. Not so circle city. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a joke. So we need to add more people in, obviously. So let's come... Let's actually add this straight onto the circle. Let me hold shift. There we go. So now we've only got 7,000, but that's okay. Let's add more people. Let's bring this up the top. And let's... I didn't do back-to-back, -back, did I? I don't think I did perfect back-to-back. -back. Just run that along here for now. It's still in circular mode. And we'll run this to there. 
This is not going to be the final shape of the city. We're just trying to get some money now, guys. Once we get the money flowing, I think I want to start designing the back of the city first. We'll do that. I want to know how many factories we're going to need. Let's see. Details. We have freight. We have a lot of unfulfilled freight, actually, so we don't need any factories, which is awesome. So we'll do the same here. Just keep this pattern going. It'll be okay. Let's just do that for now. That should bring in extra money. So, just a few things. You know, when we pop a fire station, you can add drone stuff to it so that there's drones. We're going to need a fire station soon. <laughs> this building's just dying. That always happens in the beginning. It's to try and force you to make a mistake. Don't be misled by this, guys. These fires are done on purpose. Yep. The game basically wants you to try and bankrupt yourself as soon as possible. you got to fight the game. you got to play the game. And not let the game play you. Plus, they're only small houses, aren't they? In fact, they rebuild really quick. As long as it doesn't spread to these parts, we're fine. This whole road can go. It'll just rebuild. Uh, we need a name for the city, guys. If you want to name the city, please leave your suggestions in the comment box, which, as of right now, is messed up. I don't even get messages telling me that that there is comments which is crazy not even messages this is on youtube it says zero comments in the comment box and then i click on the video there's comments it's crazy so we want that to burn down i want to be making about a thousand an hour before i buy the fire station plus we need the twenty thousand so i'm thinking maybe twenty five to thirty thousand is what we need in cash I think once these start to build up again, we should be good. I don't think we need this. So let's make that houses. Uh, we just want this guy to burn down and that should be good. So we want... We wanted high wealth here, right? That's what I'm thinking. Now do I do... A road around the edge. Because if we look at this, say this is back. Ah, that's why it's like that. It's about the equivalent of a back to back building, right? If we were to place this over here, it's probably close to back to back, especially this part. Which I'm thinking this would be the. The commercial and this will be residential. Hmm. Everyone's walking, which is awesome. They seem to walk worker. Walk worker? That makes no sense. They seem to walk further in update 8. I noticed that. They walk a lot farther. Or further. Whatever the word is. It's one of them. So we want. As we want people to walk, still. Yeah, yeah, let's use this. Let's put that there. Let's go up here. I want to call. Let's press shift. Go there. I know that's not perfectly straight. Like I said, this is all going to be demolished. What we'll do is, once we got the money, we'll work on. If we're going to do low wealth, we'll work on this side of the city first. Yeah. And we'll slowly demolish this. I'm wondering, would that that won't fit in there? What are we gonna put in here? Cause this is for the amusement park. Hmm. What can we fit in here? Maybe some houses. Just maybe we we'll go Trunkle Town style. You know, keep houses on the coast. Cause they're more of cliffs than beaches. There's no real beach. There's a beach here. And then there's a beach on this side of this island, and then here, and then at the top here. Well, that's a steep, steep beach. Look at that as the water goes out. It's crazy. So maybe we could just build around the edge, and we'll start doing that using the landscape to our 
to shape our city go from there I am NOT doing a high population <laughs> ever again we're gonna need garbage soon as well we're making 700 an hour so just for fun let's let's have that there let's not have it join let's stick houses in here and then, but what do we need in terms of shoppers we're pretty much golden on that for some strange reason so if we do just a little bit more there and then that we should be okay there oh time to take a sip of coffee so let's talk more about the cities of tomorrow while this is building and getting settled down. If you have it, you go to your city specialization and it's these last three, these mega towers. These are insanely big. No, I'm not joking guys. When you look like this, when you're saying this view or this view and zoomed in, they're still freaking capping the top of the screen when you're right next to them it's insane hmm. I like the fact you get to choose what the base is out of the three and it builds up nine stories high and then you got the top of it so it's ten stories in total and between the, the mega towers and the elite mega towers you can have eight in total in your city which I am thinking one day we will make just a mega tower city in the cities of tomorrow expansion they are unbelievable. They do this. This um, elite mega tower looks beautiful. This mega tower, it is awesome. It looks absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I'm not joking. It, it it does look absolutely disgusting. It's like really is something in one of those futuristic movies. You know, the the the, the world is overpopulated, and that's what it looks like. But yeah. Now Amiga call. This is this is one of those things where making money is going to be a struggle. It's the same with the academy as well, actually. I think you've got to be you got to be making a huge profit in your city first before even attempting to start this. You know, it seems like a small lump sum, thirty thousand. Then it carries on and carries on and carries on, and the expenses. It's one of those. It's not like drilling for oil or anything. I don't think I've not really gone in depth yet. But I do think that's going to be easier than the academy. This thing. This is insane. This, you know, it starts off at 25 grand, but then these are 40 grand each to pop. You've got to be making money in your city to, to keep this running. Because in, in, in my look at, it was insane. Insane how, oops, not that one. This one. Still got buildings burning down. We're almost at that thousand. I think it's time for the fire station. So, I'm, ah, ha, ha. We can plop our services in here. Why not? It might be big enough. And it'll be okay. Because remember, I don't place things on avenues unless it's something like a service. Houses don't go on avenues unless you're specifically designing it that way. I think one day. I don't know if it's going to be in our Let's Play, but I will make um, an avenue-only city. But I'll be doing it in the exact same way as where we branch off avenues and have side avenues. And then what our class as the main avenue will not be used, will not be built on. Just to see how that controls traffic. So let's look at the density map right now. Is any They're ready. They're ready to go medium density. That's going to be money in our pockets. Let's do that. Oops. And it is roads. Silly me. In one of those weird moods. I woke up early today. Got to go shopping with my wife. Let's do everything medium density. With this, these two rows. Just, just to get that money flowing. And just to see. Ooh, we don't have the cash now. Just missing out. It's okay. 
I think these are building, which means money's dropped, which is fine. Factories, that's good. Ah, awesome. I haven't set a timer. Silly me. I can always guess if it's a bit short, it's a bit short. If it's a bit long, it's a bit long. Doesn't matter. But yeah, I gotta go shopping with my wife later. She's going to Korea in January. She's going to go to a wedding. So she has to buy winter clothes because it's going to be super cold. And yeah, I find it strange that the Philippines has so many shops that has winter clothes. You know, they have Marks and Spencer. You know, which is, you know, it, Marks and Spencer's cool and all. But, you know, they do the seasonal thing like they do in England, you know, where it's, you know, you got spring, summer, autumn, and winter collections. It's so strange considering that there's basically two seasons here. Rainy season and hot. Basically what they call summer. It's not summer. It's just hot. Hot, dry. It's not dry, actually. It's hot and humid. It, there are days, though, that it gets super dry. But when it's hot and it's humid, oh, it's horrible. You don't want to be in the Philippines when it's super hot and humid. Unless you're on a beach. Yeah, it's just normal day life. It's like you want a portable AC system just blowing on your face. Or as I call it, the car. <laughs> yeah, it's like once you're in the car, you don't want to leave the car. It's just too hot outside. Even just, you know, if you're in the, the mall car park, parking lot, it is... They're not air conditioned, they don't have ventilation. It's basically they have slots to keep the, the air to come in and there's no breeze. And it, you just boil in there and then when you get back into your car, it's even worse. <coughs> the car's just super hot. But, eh, it's something you gotta do when you live in paradise. You gotta deal with it. Uh, on those days though, it's lovely on the beach. Like best beach weather ever. So, oh yeah, we went. We we're almost at five pass now. We're making a bit of money. Let's get garbage. Where do we? I'm just looking. Obviously, we can't put it on there. I don't plan on putting it there. So, as everything is temporary here, let's let's just stick at the end. And we want an incinerator, which is going to cost us 25 I'm always shocked at how much that costs. But you know what? It's probably one of the best investments on the game, is that incinerator. Because it just stops it from filling up. And that means you don't have to expand. I'm one of those talking moves explaining everything. When I know all you guys know. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> this game's not new anymore. It is awesome. So we're getting 18 garbage cans, 22, 24. That's awesome. I don't think we'll need an e an extra garbage truck. These two should do it. And it's actually working properly. Look, they're on two separate roads. That's awesome. They're doing it properly. I always forgot to look at that after what was it, update seven or whatever they whenever they updated the garbage trucks. Maybe it was update. No, yeah, update seven. The traffic update. I always neglected to look at it, and now our city's so small we can see. It works when your city's small. Which is awesome. So they're going to go back home. Well, home to the garbage place. And I think that just reset itself, or did it not? Is it still classed as yesterday when it's tomorrow? <laughs> well, it's today now, but yeah, you know what I mean. Alright. So, I'm thinking we. I want to get the high wealth in. Oh, struggling for power. Wait, let's do this first. Ah, we have this one. This is another new thing wind power amplifier. I think I might use that. It's a 200% boost. So, on this, I'm sure 200% is four times, right? Because 100% is double. And then another 100% would be double of the 100. So, it's four times as much. So that would be 60 megawatts, which is not too bad, not the best. Probably still about half of a coal power plant. But let's just place... What do you give off? 3 megawatts with a deficit of that. You're 5.1. 
you might actually be the best thing to do right now. But you cost too much and you cost 10 grand. Let's just do that in. Sorry, houses. Just for the moment. Yeah, we have zero. Let's check it out now. Power 1.3, which is okay. We're still small. All I do now is we'll save up for. Do I go oil right away? Or do we go coal? You make 75. Oh, yeah. So if, if those big turbines do produce 60, if it's a 200% increase or whatever, or whatever that thing says, that would be awesome. It would be a lot easier to keep your cities green if you want to go green city. So that's, I think we're just going to slowly upgrade. Let's go 70, do that, and then pop that later on. But I really I really think we should have... Depending on how big we go. Because obviously most of the space is already taken up. Do we go... We don't want to go solar. Solar only works at night time. That's the problem. So you're going to have a huge deficit. Do we stick to wind? Try and run a city off wind. You know, like stick this in a corner or something. Or maybe not even in a corner. Somewhere. Maybe in the middle of this and then surround that with medium wealth. And just try and run a city off that. Tell me what you think, guys. Do you want to see that? We've got to upgrade. Awesome. This thing looks super awesome once you reach the 600,000 population. You get this huge thing on the top. Look, yeah, it looks like that basically. Yeah, the, the top thing on the, the like the dome on the top. It looks awesome. Actually, you get that for the second to last upgrade. Just looks amazing. And if you haven't checked out my high population challenge series, check that out. Episode two is up. Um. There will be a link in the, the description to the playlist. I'm going to put a playlist in there. i got to remember to do that, actually. So, yeah, check. If it's not there, it'll be there in the next episode. But just, you know, you know how to check my channel by now. Um, ooh, you're the wrong way, guy. Oh, it's raining. That's not a good eye sign. Yep. Why did I go onto that? This one. I hope you, some of you guys have donated to um, UNICEF. That would be cool. Because Filipinos need it more than ever. What was it? Um, this, the province of Leyte was 95% uh, damage. The whole province was just 95% damage. That was awful. I'll also leave in the description the link to UNICEF again. For you guys to check that out. Oh, I see we're losing power. This is not fun. But. Just. You take up the same amount of space. And yet how much extra. Only five. Hmm. Now we're going to have to go coal. For now. We'll figure this out later. Let's just go coal. And I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so, so sorry. Ooh. You know, why not for now? <coughs> oh, crazy. Oh, power. Come on, give them power. We're going to leave this running, actually. Like I said, I want to save it. I want to see what we can do with it. If it's possible. We'll save it, but we'll switch it off, actually. Let's, let's just do that. I did notice something yesterday on the cities of tomorrow. I bulldozed the water tower for the new one. I, I know, as you see here, with the, the electricity running. The water was still running through the city. It was so strange. Uh, do we need water? We do. Uh, this is... I don't know how good this is. I think it's just a water tower, but it's different in a way. 
let me move my mic a little bit. I came a bit further back. Um, in my seat, I mean. Town hall. Mayor's house. We have to put that in as well. Stick that there. I don't really do that too often. Sewage. Is that maximum? Let's place that there. It's... Yeah, that should do. We are making two grand though. That's not too bad. Hmm. Did I, I didn't upgrade that road, did I? I was thinking about that a minute ago. Yeah, there we go. Upgrade that. I think once these are upgraded, that's when we're going to start seriously looking at uh, getting this city more designed. Focusing more on the design. Getting, getting the, the roads coming down here and around this island. I really want to do that, but can't rush into this. Uh, building fire. Cool. Excuse me. Again. Not enough places to ship freight, I think that was. Hang on. My mouse is stuck. Ah! I need to rearrange my setup, I think. <laughs> just so cramped at the moment. I was just about to check something. Crazy mouse, you forgot. It made me forget what I was going to check. Um. Oh yeah, industry, freight, unfulfilled orders now, which means we need more industry, that's constructing, so that is, what, 120 and 120, let's see, where else do I have industry, got here, so that's 120, so that's 360, and then how much do we have? Nine, eighteen. It's quite a bit more, don't we? That's okay. We can draw a road. Let's draw that there, and we'll do do it like this: one, two, three, four, two, three, four, and we'll just have a small one here. That'll be okay. And we'll see how that goes. <coughs> oh, dare me! Oh no, the coffee went down the wrong way. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I'm a bit phlegmy because I woke up a bit early. It's just how I am. It's because I'm a smoker. Don't smoke, kids. It's bad for you. Trust me. They're not going to grow. This has to be farther up. Like I said, this is temporary. If we check the data map again, is anyone else ready to go? Oh yeah, they're ready. The shops aren't, but let's get all this medium. Doing a lot of upgrading this episode. Something I don't normally would like, not something I would normally not like to do. But we'll just do it bit by bit. Let the city settle down. It seems to be settling down quite fine. We went from a couple of hundred people in this episode to 13,000 already. That's awesome. I might get hit two upgrades in one episode. We finished our ring road. We got a bit of money now, which means why not? Why not do these roads? So we curve this. Ah. Can I intersect the road? Why? But you know what? We'll forget that then. Let's do this. I know it looks weird, it looks like a spider web kind of. Let's do that. Oh man, this is awesome. That's not what I want. Not as cool, but that's not what I want. Let's go. We can go straight on this part, I think. Oh yeah. That looks so strange and weird. It's going to be insane to build on that. So can we at least get an intersection here done? 
No. Why not? If I bulldoze this then. If I bulldoze that. What happened there, game? That just did that like I pressed control. I had my finger over the B button. That was so strange. And now we can't even draw from the bridge. Are you kidding me? Let's bulldoze the bridge. Are you kidding, seriously kidding me, game? Let's bulldoze this. That's not straight. All of that work that I just put in then? Gone. It's game. Road grade too steep. Okay, let's pull those back a bit. Let's pull those this as well. We'll forget this ever happened. Let's get this. It's straight again. Well, not again. I forgot to change it. We go here. Yeah, why not? Ah, no. No, 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 no. Pull those back. Just wasting money now. Sorry, guys. Pull those down. Oops, wrong one. That's better. Okay, let's quickly try this again. So we had it. Let's go straight for now. Can't go off there. I can go there. Ah, oh, let's curve it. Oh. That's what we did, right? And then we had a straight road to the uh, awesome. Looks a bit more derpy. We might have to fix it. Maybe we'll have to use straight roads instead to make sure we can build there. That's not too bad. Oh, and yeah, let's, let's pull those. This. this is just too derpy. Don't do it again, game. Hang on, yeah, why not? Get that bit there. Let's... Two roads overlap, of course they overlap. There we go. It's not as bad. Maybe I could curve that round, I don't know. We'll think about it. It's not doesn't look the nicest, does it? <laughs> no, I wanna fix it. I it's just it's uh, bugging me a bit. Um, we can go straight road there, why not? That should work, it should create the land. It does. Let's leave it like that. Even if it's not curvy, it's fine. It's weird. And, you know, it's going to be easy to build on. I think that's what I wanted. I could curve that round and around. It doesn't matter. Did anything burn down while we were away? Let's check. Nothing, that's awesome. Well guys, I'm going to leave it here for now. We have our new circle. And we have the start of our high wealth commercial area. Which will probably only be about two buildings. I still got stuff to check. I've got lots to check out for these this game. I want to do this. I want to... Yeah. We zoom in a bit. Get that circle, a the derpy circle in the picture. And take a screenshot. Awesome. Cool. <coughs> Sorry again, guys. Well, if you like this episode, guys, please leave a like. If you want to watch some more, subscribe <coughs> as we upgrade the building. Awesome. If you have any comments, please leave a comment and also leave a name for our city. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I really do. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye bye.